Mm-hmm. Trial clerk setting, mail returned unclaimed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, trial clerk setting action. Um, there was no due process to myself. No. You know, um, my relatives did know where I was at. Mm -hmm. And you're holding my sons hostage. Yes. And you're enriching yourselves at my expense. Mm -hmm. Now, for all of you that said, well, we're just going to keep him homeless and we're never going to let him sue us and he'll never get his money and he won't get his inheritance. And there's no possible way that I could put uh, teenagers in juvenile delinquency. Yes. You know, don't ever violate my personal space that I'm paying to live in. It's a little different than making one of these agreements where I agree to do some work for a place to live. Yes. There's not really a rental agreement. It's kind of like a handshake. Yes. It's like saying, well, if you let me sleep on the couch, I will work 10 hours a week. Yes. Kind of like $100 at $10 an hour. Mm. But when I actually have to apply for rental assistance from a charity. Yes. Any and all times that you violate. It's an actual residence. The difficulty is I did get the rent paid about a week ago for July. Yes. Mm. You know, it, it got sent out on the 13th. Yeah. Uh, but it was issued on the 31st. Mm. Somebody forgot to put the rent in the mail until mid-month of August for last month, July. It's as if the the individuals that are helping me with my rent yes, didn't realize that when you're a month behind in the rent, pooch, because it's due on July 1st instead of the, the middle. See, today I'm going to give you... Well, I know they say they can't be sued, but... It just got here. I think it was on the 15th or 16th of August. Yes. But it was issued on the 31st. Yes. And it was due on the first of the month of July. <laughs> now, thankfully, yes, the landlord that I'm with, yeah, she bought me some tobacco. <laughs> she drove me to the tobacco store. Yes. She used her own debit card because I will not use her cards. Yes at all because it's not my identity <laughs> and for the rest of you that complain that i'm committing some sort of elder abuse oops, i would say it's elder abuse to intentionally well now sheriff do you know of the charity that i'm talking about that intentionally uh well clallam county <laughs> you know i ask mm -hmm. To see, yes. And quite often she said, I don't have any money. And I go out and sell cigarettes and I make it for as long as I have to make it. Yes. But I have never used her personal credit card, debit card, or food stamp card. Yes. I have never taken anything from her. It's always been, do you want to? Uh -huh. Do you have? Yes. Now, the nice part about living in, well, it was her birthday last week, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> in her 70s, you know. Everybody that wanted to accuse me of elder abuse, <laughs> I have always been very, very honest. I never borrowed money from her. No, because I never planned on paying it back. <laughs> I never used her cards. I never went in her room without her consent. <laughs> in fact, I made sure that I was 100% honest all the time. <laughs>